for a big storm, someone has to take in all the calls of the, the trees down and uh, from our Skywarn spotters. We need another person to enter them into our program for local storm reports and public information statements, which show up on our web, a list of snowfall totals, which is continually updated. And um, then, in the case of severe weather, uh, often there'll be a, um, many media calls uh, the minute we issue a tornado warning, for example, to do a live interview. So we actually need a whole extra person just for media relations doing a phone interview with one of the TV stations live on the air. And so, in general, we end up with a, almost a full contingent of uh, our forecast staff during a big storm. So through all of this, you have plenty of milk and bread. You've sent someone out for, <laughs> for your milk and bread supply, right? There's no doubt that weather can alter our daily lives, and it seems nothing strikes more fear into people than a severe storm capable of shutting down roads and businesses and causing people to flock to the grocery stores at the first sign of warning. Some believe the current phenomenon is credited to the blizzard of 1978, while others claim Hurricane Bell that hit New England in the summer of 1976 is to blame. Running out to buy bread and milk before a storm is probably nothing more than a compulsion heightened by survival instincts that has actually gone on for centuries, allowing a somewhat comforting sense of control in an uncontrollable situation.